Hey YouTube, Bearded Bristol here, and uh, I'm going to do a little video editing tech talk today. Um, as you know, as we're all very keenly aware these days, our smartphones can do almost anything for us, including video editing. And uh, I myself, graphic artist for over 20 years now, and uh, as such, I rely very heavily on products made by Adobe. Uh, that's the sole thing that I use for illustrations, for uh, photo editing, and also what I use for building videos. Um, there's, there's a lot of really high quality uh, video editing software out there, but Adobe Premiere is, is what I'm familiar with, that's what I use, and that's what I love. So I was absolutely thrilled when I found out that Adobe was now making, um, making apps for mobile. Uh, they have a Photoshop app for mobile, which is just a great one-touch kind of photo editor. Um, also, Adobe One Clip, which is what I'm going to talk about today. And uh, one of the things, you know, it doesn't matter if you are a YouTube content creator. Uh, it doesn't matter if you just want to put some pictures together, do a slideshow, or put together some video from your recent vacation and post to Facebook. Adobe Clip is clean, it's simple, it's easy, and it's fast. So anyway, I'm going to take you through a little tutorial on that, and uh, I hope you enjoy, and uh, maybe it'll make, help you make some uh, better videos in the days to come. Okay, so here you can see on my uh, desktop of my phone down here, we have Adobe Clip. It is actually Adobe Premiere Clip. It just shows up on the phone as Adobe Clip. Uh, it takes just a second to edit. As you can see, um, we've already got a project started here, but I want a new one. Um, so we're going to tap the little plus sign. And we are just going to get uh, device here. We can choose from Dropbox, from the camera, wherever. So here's some of my uh, some of my folders. We'll hit camera, and you can see here we've got two clips because I flubbed the first one. We're going to take the second one at a minute thirty two seconds, and click done. So now we have an option of automatic or freeform project. Um, the automatic will do all of the color correction for you. It's pretty handy. I prefer the freeform because I like the number of manual options that you're given through Adobe. So we're going to tap on that. And it takes just a second for that to load. And there we go. So you can see here in the lower left we have my clip. We also have the video preview window. And we have a slider in the center. Not a slider, but a timeline in the center. Um, that also has kind of your sound measurements on it. So we're going to get started with the edit, and I'm just going to tap play. And then three seconds later, we're going to stop it. Uh, that's just dead air and me getting ready to uh, actually speak, and you can see that in that sound bar there. So up here in the top right, we have two sliders. Going to tap on that. Have a ch um, We can duplicate the clip, or we can split it at the playhead. You can also see there's a speed slider there where we can slow down the video if you want slow motion stuff. Uh, we're just going to split this at playhead. And now you can see we have two separate clips, one at two seconds and one at a minute 29. I don't want that two second clip, obviously, so we're just going to tap on that and make it go away. And uh, now we're going to roll on to the end. Um, there we go. Back it up just a little bit. And you can do that just by tapping on the timeline. I hope you enjoy, and uh, maybe it'll make, help you make some uh, better videos in the days to come. Okay, so the rest of that's just dead air, so we're going to go ahead again, tap that slider, duplicate or split, we're going to split, and now we have a three second clip at the end, trash can, and it is going away, um, in theory here. There we go. All right, and you know, up at the top here, we can also adjust. Well, we'll we'll do we'll play a little bit with that. You know, we've got the the volume, we've got smart volume, which is particularly handy if you're mixing clips so that you get a pretty standard volume across all of them. Um, I'm going to mess with any of these, but we could also do an audio fade in, audio fade out. Uh, but what we are going to do is up here. There's kind of a Picasso wheel in the top left. And here's where we can play with our exposure, our highlights, and our shadows. Um, my library is a little bit on the dark side, so we're just going to bump up the exposure a little bit. We could get really crazy, um, but we're just going to take it up just a little bit. Uh, we can also play with the highlights, um, dump in a bunch of light, take light out of the highlights. I think we'll do it about there. And at the bottom, 
you know, we can drag to the left and bring in shadows, or we can crank it all the way to the right and kind of suck them out. Um, I'm going to take out pretty much as much shadow as I can, um, and that covers, you know, kind of the brightness and exposure area. Now we're going to go back to clip options, and up at the top here, you know, we've got music where you can pull in um, soundtracks from Premiere. Um, we've also got the uh, three that's kind of a symbol for RGB, red, green, and blue. The, and so we're going to tap on the three circles and we get clip default looks. Now, if you're uh, into Instagram at all, this is going to be somewhat familiar to you. We have a lot of pre-built filters. Um, this is the gold filter. Um, Linden. Punch. Uh, one of my favorites that I've, I've only done it a couple of times, but I really like the look of the retro. I think that's kind of fun. But there's, there's a lot of different options here depending on what you're after, what mood you're after. And I think we're just going to go with straight normal, although let's look at 6 a.m. Yeah, see, I think that's too much red in there, so we're just going to go with the normal. And uh, we're going to tap back and go back to our project. And we're in great shape. That is the first segment of the clip. And now the fun part is I will get to merge this clip with the original clip. And so you'll actually get to see how two clips work together. I also recorded an outro just so that we could uh, see what it's like to work with multiple clips. Uh, but we're going to click the plus sign and we're going to add again from the device. And uh, now we come up with a listing again of all of the things. We have the, the MobaZen here, which is how I recorded my phone and that last bit of tutorial. So we're going to tap on that. Also going to tap on the camera and there is my outro done. So we will add those two clips to the project and uh, they're set up now in order of how they will play so we have we have the intro over here that's already been kind of edited hey, YouTube, there, Bristol there you go and uh, then we've got the second clip uh, which is the the tutorial that I just ran through which is kind of comical to be able this is like the MC Escher window within a window within a window thing and then we have the final outro here so I am uh, gonna gonna push play here, and we'll trim this clip again. Okay, so we're gonna just drag this back a little bit. That looks good. Go to our sliders, split it playhead, and we will get rid of that three-second clip. And then again, we'll go to the end. Push play. Talk to you again soon. Have fun creating. All right. And split head. And we will get rid of that last three seconds. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and re edit uh, this video so that it looks like the first clip, and then I will export the whole project. Um, again, you can go up here to the share button. You've got publish and share, which is to Adobe. You've got share on YouTube, share on Twitter. Um, I personally prefer to save to gallery. Um, that, you know, it gives you that localized backup. And I found the share on YouTube uh, to be a little sketchy if you don't have a really great uh, Wi-Fi connection. So, you know, again, we'll just save this whole project to gallery. And... Uh, You'll get to see the whole uh, encompassing video complete with outro in just a moment. Okay, just to further confuse the clip within a clip within a clip thing, uh, there's one other thing that I wanted to show that I did not uh, do previously, so we're going to add the clip that I just recorded. And uh, again, we're going to pull it off the MobaZen app and click on that there. Done. And this is the clip that I had just recorded, and see now it's placed it after my actual outro at a minute four. So I am just going to tap on this, slide it over, drop it, and it's that simple to uh, rearrange clips. You just click, hold, and drag, or tap, hold, and drag, and rearrange the clips the way you need. All right, so it really is that simple. Uh, you can put together a lengthy video in just a short amount of time by just dragging clips off of your gallery or off of you know Dropbox, wherever that is. They're all accessible. They merge together very quickly. The export is pretty good, you know, considering 
uh, considering the amount of memory that you're trying to pull depending on the length of the video. So anyway, that's, that's kind of a short tutorial on uh, why I use Adobe Clip and some of the benefits, features, and some of the versatility that it has to offer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to be doing some more of these, but before I end, I also want to do a shout out for the Mobizen, M-O-B-I-Z-E-N app. Uh, that's what I use to be able to record uh, my phone screen right onto my phone. Um, it doesn't work seamlessly with all phones. I had to download a peripheral um, and load it directly to my PC um, as a backup. But uh, all in all, worked out pretty well. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Have fun creating.